Hello, I'm celebrating the new year again with my new Dale Rowley Rowney Cachet journal. I have played a little bit on the cover, and today, first page. I've also cut from my dollar store cutting boards a sheet to go under this paper because although it is rather heavy and it does say that it will take uh, wet media, I don't know how wet wet is going to be, so I'm going to go as lightly as I can with the wet media. But at the same time, I have a real urge to get back to these because these uh, Gansai Tambi paints have a real uh, oomph to them as far as color. They, uh, they're not as transparent, they work differently, and they are certainly not made for this sort of paper, but there is something to them that I like when they are applied, if I, if I manage to control what's happening. I have my uh, Derwent watercolor pencils out so that I, if I decide to do some sort of a uh, design, I'm not going to use regular, a regular number two pencil, but I shall try using these because it will get lost in the, uh, in the painting. And I have my first real example of uh, ink, ink paint on Upel, and as you can see, I just put it down and moved it and let it happen, and then I thought, ooh, yuck, but then I did like some of these really bright colors, and this uh, eggplant shade in here is quite lovely, and I put it aside to dry, and when I came back, this is what was here, not at all like uh, the piece of paper that I left, so I thought, mm. Wouldn't this be nice as some sort of a focal on this page? Bold and beautiful. But before I begin, the grand experiment is about to begin on getting some background uh, on this page. And I'm going to want a brush that is going to give me some softness and leeway this oval oval mop and I think another bit of uh, water on these paints is necessary but not too much and I'm going to be very frugal the amount of water that I put down on these pages hopefully not too much and I'm going to look to see. Yes, I see some dampness. And the page is rounding up a little bit. That's all right. I'm going to use... very much. And maybe this one, a little bit of blue. Well, let's see, here we go. This is working nicely. I haven't used these in ages. That's a nice, it looks rather brown, but it's uh, turning out to be nice and neutral, 
nice neutral grayish shade on the paper. Ah, there's the little bit of brown. Okay, we can do that. See what happens if we have just a bit of this. Can we make this gray? Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Alrighty, now that took the white off this egg. Let's take some time to dry this and I'll be back. Now back to this one. I'm seeing a flower here, which includes that eggplant petal. And this, play up some of that background color. I'm wondering if I take this out of the center, and then I might want to include some of the other ones. Well, Shall I put a pencil down on there? I think yes. I'm thinking yes. going to be having more fun with this alcohol ink on Yupo. I have seen other folks having more fun than it's possible to believe, so I've decided to give it a look-see. And this happened, this was rather blobby when I laid it down, and a day later when I walked over to that side of the studio and looked at it, I said, well, look at this little present that's melded together for me. The colors are so vivid. Whoops, am I getting out of control here? Let me pay attention. Mmm. I'm going to do what I had outlined here. there. I'm liking this bit right here. Jigsaw puzzle. There. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Need a little more here. Maybe there. Maybe here. Sorry, I'm mumbling.
stack down here. In for a dime, in for a dollar. Maybe, and maybe not. Maybe over here. Now, since I know with every fiber of my being that I'm not going to be able to do that again unless I take a snapshot of it. But I do believe it has some potential. I'll be right back. Through trial and error, I have found I, that I want to do an X marks the spot thing for this because I don't know what I'm going to do on the uh, sheet of paper around it. So I don't want to, anything that I put on here, I don't want to um, look broken off or cut off or stumped in its place. So if I put markers underneath but just in a little tiny bit it gives me a, I, an idea of where these puppies are whoops let's not get crazy now These add-ons are particularly important. Is this one here? This one, here. Now, let's see, big one, the leaves, and wink and blink and a nod. Alrighty, now that leaves me an idea of what I want to do and where I want to do it it says in the fine print. So,
Hmm. Best laid plans. Let me redo this one a little bit. Okay. I believe I did not. No, I didn't. I missed this pink one up here. thinking I'm going to want a little bit of green, a little bit of a leaf effect coming up here. One, two, three. And right, and now something back up in here. Something here. And something else here. Touching this one, but a little smaller. I know that this is difficult for you to see, so let's see if I can pull this up a bit for you. There's the green leaf that I put on, and there are the three hanging buds. And since this is an experiment page, I think that will do the trick for the moment. Let's see about my brush choice. Back to an old favor favorite, uh, of course, at Princeton, round number 10. coat of green here. This green watercolor should 
be absorbed. One of the next one next to it. And let me go in a little closer. I do want this to bloom if it can. I think that would add some nice configuration to this leaf. But let's just see if we can get it to do that. Just a little of the some of the other colors on the piece to move themselves around a little bit. And maybe just a little bit of that blue that is. Uh, on the background, and we'll see. I'm going to leave that one alone. Now I want to you make one of those of those um, buds make a purpley statement, almost a uh, eggplant sta statement, so I think I'm going to go down here to do that or to start it. Well, this Paper is just a pleasant surprise. Now let's have a little bit of that bright pink. Mix in some of the blue that I see in the uh, ink on Yupo. And now, some of my most vibrant possible.
pink and purple mix. Need a little, maybe a little blue. Oh my, yes. Now let's check. I think this is too weak, but we'll see. And I'm hoping that this watercolor will continue to bloom because it makes the most interesting natural shapes. So, testing, testing. be back. Sorry, the ceiling painters needed to commune with me. There we go. I think the right track. This needs more oomph. I'll come back and oomph this, but right now I want to put in these two shadowy leaves in the back, and then I believe I'm going to attach these three pieces of paper in their permanent position. Hmm. Yes, that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. So, finally have this center collage down. I'm going to be uh, quite tickled. So, keep that down. One, here's two, Three. 
done. Now, this leaf. <clears throat> And this one. This glue is Adhesive Tech Fine Line. I've been using it for quite a while and it agrees with me. It does not cause me any problems. It was only 99 cents from $2.99. I'm happy with this. And Go back to these shadows. I think I'm going to introduce some of the this color, but over on this side, yes. bit of the high blue And I'm going to visit this one again since it is quite dry.
there's some of this down here. So let's have just a little bit up here. And let's see if that helps. Well, when all else fails, Let's get this to move a little bit, so I'm going to add just a bit of water and some of my, there. Let's get some dark down here. There we go.
right, this is going to have to dry. And I think I'm going to think about getting some stems here. This is my pointed filbert number two. It, as you can see, has a very lovely point or doing this particular job. Put a little bit too much color down there, so I erased it or I vacuumed it up with a thirsty brush. Now I'm puddling here a bit. I'm trying to make up my mind. Where did it go? Oops, there it is. It's hiding on me. I'm going to mop up a little bit of this with a thirsty brush. to mix a little green with a little bit of black over here.
And now a little drying of this top leaf so that I can apply the main flower and I'll be back. So now, let the fun begin. The part that I do absolutely love doing, I'm going to work quietly on certain areas to give you an idea of where I'm going and what I'm thinking about doing. And then I will stop the recording, finish up similar bits to what I have shown you, and I'll be back.
uh, see why I was so anxious for some of this paint to bloom because it does give us some exquisite interest in shapes <coughs> Excuse me. It's time for a Ricola. To darken in the edges. To give a little bit more definition. And I emphasize some high points. For some reason that's something that I'm drawn to do, so it's just a Carol thing. You can do yours however you want to. And it will be just lovely because it can't help but be. And let's see what happens over here now. I'm feeling that we need to have a little more emphasis on some of the sections here. This is my Signal Uniball Micro. And the one finer is the Ultra Micro. They're a little bit hard to find, but they're worth looking for. Now when you make a little boo-boo like that, you do a little cheat like that. And if something goes a little bit amiss, you do a little cheat, or you realize that with all that is going to be on this paper, the art police are not going to rip it from you because it has a little whoops. In one part of one part. 
Close your eyes. I'm going to swing. Then I think I will talk to this deep baby right here. to give this a little bit more of an expression so I can sink this down onto the paper. So I'm going to do a very free edge down here. Now this leaf will be the last one that I will do for the moment, but I really, it's interesting the way the shapes run horizontally. So, let's see where we're going to go with this, because I have the slightest idea. And here we have a little oops of the finger rubbing because I'd forgotten that this is Yupo paper. So think about this situation that we have going here. I'm going to come back to that one. I have to think about it a bit. And now, I have to do a little fixer-upper. your eyes. Alrighty. Oops. Well, I'm going to let this dry. Think about it. Work on it some more. And I will return. I'm wondering if I'm going to end up going outside the lines a little bit. I might. Haven't done that in a while, so this is a good opportunity. But I'm definitely going to do this right now because 
That's irritating me. It's not supposed to irritate me, so here we go. Alrighty, now I'll be back when I have a little bit more fun accomplished on here. I hope you're enjoying it thus far. See you shortly. Well, I have reached the point of being satisfied with my piece of art. I've learned an awful lot about working on UPO paper and uh, markers, and I think I'm going to use the original watercolor that I laid down as the, uh, as the frame for this piece. And I'm going to use my Ultra Micro Uniball Signal. I want the light, to, the marks to be very light. I don't want them to make Alrighty, ceiling painter again. And I'm not going to make it totally follow the line. It is such a challenge sometimes to make something that you see in your head vaguely match what ends up on your paper, but I'm kind of tickled with this. I do hope that you have enjoyed watching this process, and if you have, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Yes, need just a little something to finish. So, here we are. Let's have a close look. Oops. There we go. That's an even better look. Sorry. Bye now.